I've got so many. Once I tape my stick, I don't like anyone to touch it. After I tape it, I like to sit by my stall and don't like when guys pick it up. Sidney Crosby, though, takes a different path than his teammates. A long and circuitous route designed specifically not to pass the visitor's locker room. For Crosby, riding a 20-game point streak, game days are filled with a series of very specific routines, like this one. There's probably a few that are borderline crazy, but I guess we're all crazy in our own way, but uh, you're not gonna have any trouble finding me at a certain time before a game. It's, it's the same every single game. Sticks are taped just so. There's a 5 p.m. peanut butter and jelly sandwich with particular brands of each. Then comes a soccer kick around, a hockey tradition a group of penguins take part in. Stretches performed in a certain order. And then he puts on his lucky cup, the same one he's been wearing for years. Just before the team takes the ice, there's one more routine. A special handshake with the only player who skates out after him, Evgeny Malkin. I used to go last and then Gino came in and I said, oh, do you usually go last? And he goes, yeah. And I go, oh, like, I, I wasn't sure how to react. Like, do you want to do rock, paper, scissors here? What are we going to do? And then he goes, oh, me, three years Super League. And I said, what, three years Super League? So he was talking about how he'd played in the Russian Professional League for three years, and I'd only played one year in the NHL. Sid is very particular, probably more particular than any other player in our locker room. All his gear is customized, uh, his skates are special, his sticks are special, and Sid's not picky, but he likes it a certain way. Sid is uh, very superstitious in certain areas, and Sid likes to have his sticks uh, in his stall when he gets here. Sid's been wearing these custom uh, shoulder pads by RBK for uh, three seasons now. You can't put Sid sticks uh, when we're on the road uh, next to the goalie sticks. They always have to be <laughs> separate from the goalies. He's been wearing this cup since he was, uh, I think, pre ramuski We use Loctite in his screws so that he doesn't hear a clicking sound. This pad was put on by uh, his trainer in Ramuski. You can see it still has a blue wire tie on there. And you can see that it looks like Frankenstein's face on there. Another little uh, quirk with Sid is uh, this is the 2007-2008 uh, model of his hat. <laughs> he likes his uh, steel changed uh, every two weeks. Every time he makes an adjustment to this, we have to keep a piece of the original cup. He uses a two-piece stick still, so every day he'll change his, uh, his blades uh, for practice and for games. I found out the hard way last year when uh, he had an all-black RBK hat and I said, Sid, that thing's starting to look a little raunchy. It's got sweat stains. Uh, can I throw that in the wash? And he looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, don't touch the hat. He, uh, again, is a creature of habit and does not want to switch. I was like, Sid, you just want a new cup? And I learned early, you can't just switch things on Sid. You have to repair them or make adjustments. And that's what we've been doing with his cup. Sidney Crosby's down behind the plate. I've heard stories, and I, you know, I, I don't know if it's true or not. I heard he's very, very uh, superstitious. Is that true? And maybe can you can you tell us a few of the superstitions? Uh, there's a few. Of the whole, our whole family is superstitious. So uh, <laughs> the one that's like the main is that he can't talk to my to me or my mother on uh, game days. And this all started because in junior. Uh, Talk to me and you separate your shoulder. So then it kind of went downhill from there. So he tried to break the curse and he called my mom and she was like, Should we be talking? He's like, Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, then that game he ended up breaking his foot. And uh, so then got to Pittsburgh and I was staying with him. And it was my birthday weekend and I saw him pre game. I was like, Oh my god, this is going to be bad. And uh, he ended up breaking his foot again, his other one. <laughs> and uh, it keeps going. Uh, when he uh, 
got his concussion in the Winter Classic. He saw me. We didn't talk. He just saw me in the passing. So I was like, oh my god. And he got a concussion. And so, yeah, ever since the concussion, it's just been stayed clear. And actually, when we were in uh, Prague for World Championships, we were uh, kind of scurrying around the hotel because we were at the same hotel. So on game days, it was like, we stay in our rooms and move. <laughs>